Welcome back, my name is Laura, and if it's your first time here, I just started a vintage booth in an antique store. But today, we're actually getting ready for a craft show. Here on the channel, you're gonna find furniture flips, vintage finds, and of course, the Christmas craft show. So if you find any of those things interesting, make sure that you click subscribe so that you can follow along. Today, I'm taking three wreaths that I got at a thrift store, and I'm gonna flip them into something that I can sell at the Christmas craft show. This is what we're starting with. The first wreath was $4.99, and as I was fluffing it, I realized that I needed to do this video. So it did come with this bow, and now it's fluffed and ready to go. This is my favorite of the wreaths. It has this tree house in it. It has really neat holly mixed in and a few pine cones. I really like the texture and the birdhouse. This was also $4.99 just needs a little work. And then this was actually the most expensive one. Two of these are from Goodwill, one is from Salvation Army. It didn't have a price, and so when I got to the register, they decided it should be $5.99, but that's pretty good. It's definitely the smallest of all of them, but $5.99 is not bad for a wreath. So this is what we're starting with. The first thing I'm gonna do is get these down to a starting point. That means I need to fluff this one and take off anything I don't want. I don't like to be poked by all of this. I always hate decorating the Christmas tree, so I am using my yard gloves. We also have a lot of help today. Both Ray and Lucky are very excited. They don't understand that this is fake greenery. One of the things I do definitely recommend is if you're gonna work on wreaths, get a good pair of wire snippers. These are the side cuts. I can put a link in the description to some if you need them. But you're gonna be able to snap wires just that easily. And the reason why is most of these branches are made of similar wires, so you definitely want that. Now that we have them all down to the bare minimum, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with adding things. We're gonna start with this green one. What I did to get started was just grab everything that I have that might be useful for a wreath. And every time I plan to use glue or anything like that at the table, I cover it. Today I covered it with brown bags from the grocery store. Bonus points if you can guess which grocery store. What I have today are some leftovers from a fake flower bouquet that I bought in a vase that I did not need. I kept them because they're pretty cool. These fake flowers that I got on sale because they're full. I got all of these fake flowers as greenery to use in the booth. A lot of times to make bows and for roots use pipe cleaners, so I did pick up some of those. I have a pre-made bow, some pine cones, these red cranberry sticks, a lot of different ribbon options. I grabbed these just in case. I don't know if I'll use them. Those are the ribbons we just pulled off. And then of course some big ribbons to make bows. But this is the greenest wreath that we have in the bunch. I really like the color of this wreath. So what I wanna do is try not to cover it up too much. This is my first time really ever decorating wreaths. So I want them to be a little modern. I really wanna use these gold flowers because I think they're really neat and I don't really have another use for them. But I only have three. Since this wreath is so green, I do wanna add kind of this greenery because I think it'll make it look a little more modern. Just the little sprigs. Just kind of laying it out right now, and then I'm gonna have to go back and stick everything in. I'm gonna glue all that in once I know I like it, and I think this ribbon. This ribbon. Maybe this ribbon and make a really big bow. I think I like this better. I really like the burlap mixed with the gold of this one, but I think this might end up being more of a classy look. So if we go with the white 
and gold. I don't know that we need to put anything else with it. I do have this really pretty green, but that might be one too many greens. And then I have it in red also. everything on and then decide the bow after. Okay, I set the wreath off to the side and to make this bow, I'm going to need a few pieces of string. So I'm going to cut that ahead of time. I'm not sure how everyone else makes a bow, but what I do is I cut an extra long piece of ribbon because I want to make sure I have enough like tail hanging down. And I find the middle. And then from here, I just make two loops. So you just made kind of a crisscross. Lay it down, and then as you have here and here, that's where you're gonna tie the string. But you need to make sure it's kind of even first. So we're gonna take that one in a little. And we're gonna make that one kind of the same. I do like that. Should be a little dramatic. And then we're gonna tie a string. This is where a lot of people use pipe cleaners, but I think the string is what I prefer because you can do that pretty tight. And you have your basic shape of the bow. And we need to decide if we think we should add red. I'm gonna skip it. Maybe we should double about the end of this ribbon. <laughs> the downside of making long tails. We could just double up. Do I like the double? Maybe we just need a single. I'm gonna go with the single bow. Classic, okay. Let's attach it to the wreath and then put the extra bit around the middle. To finish a bow like this, we just are gonna glue this piece around the middle so that you have a pretty bow. I grabbed pipe cleaners <laughs> that are this evergreen. So hopefully it blends really well. Let's get our wreath back in the middle. Up next, I'm gonna do the birdhouse wreath. I almost feel bad about this one because I really like it the way it is. But I showed you this bow that I made the other day. And I think I'm just gonna add it. I could add it here under the birdhouse, but I think I'm gonna add it up here to kind of hide that wire. Up there. As much as I could do or take away from this wreath, I think I need to just celebrate it for what it is. I love this birdhouse and that's what I want to be the center of attention. So just gonna add this bow to the top. This is how I should have done that other bow. I do think I need to add something here. I wonder if one of our pine cones fell off. Perfect. This pine cone has some white paint, the other ones don't, but I think it'll blend in okay. I was trying to decide what to do with the final wreath. I have this Santa that I got at a garage sale. I think he'd look really cute in a wreath, but I just really love the color. 
This is a really light colored green and I like it a lot and I think it just needs a classier look. So what I'm going to do for this one is add in some of these fake flowers that I have. So it's already a light colored green and I'm going to add that to add even lighter tones. And then I'm going to use my cranberries. So I'm gonna add these in as well. And I think that those two together is gonna to look really neat. The kicker, I got a bunch of these wood Merry Christmas letters. I think I'm gonna set it in the wreath, but it really blends with the colors. So what I thought to, I might do, the working plan, is to take the velvet red and make a bow that'll actually, let's see, a bow that will actually go behind the letters and stick up here. So then you have that red kind of popping through there. So you have the nice color of the wood letters, you have the flower, and then you have the red pops in the cranberries. I think it'll kind of do justice to this light colored wreath. We'll see how it goes. It's kind of like the first one that took so much longer than I expected, but let's see how it goes. My goal starting out was to make three very unique wreaths and I think I accomplished it. I might have a favorite. If thrifting wreaths was this easy, I need to know what I should do next. You'll have to let me know in the comments which one you like the most and let me know what I should try next. If you found this video helpful or if you just enjoyed watching me make wreaths, make sure you hit the like button and I'll see you next time with a new project. But it has really neat Ray, I don't know that you need to help. This wreath also has this little... Hi, Ray. Now that we have them all down to the bare minimum, Lucky is going to be helping. Oh.